Joe Johnson is about to clear waivers and apparently he's going to sign with the Miami Heat. Uh, Justin, what do you think of this move? I think it's a great pickup for Miami. Like Joe Johnson can still play. Uh, if you look at his numbers since 2016 started, basically, uh, he's he's been playing unreal basketball, lowest usage rate since his rookie season, uh, shooting well over 40% from three. Uh, he's someone that if Miami does get Chris Bosh back, that that's a pretty – that's a good starting lineup if they're using Joe Johnson as a small forward. Uh, they could also use him uh, as a small ball four if Bosch is missing time along with Luol Dang and Dwayne Wade. Uh, I think there's a lot of different things that they can do for uh, with him. Signing in Miami was a little surprising to me. Um, I, I figured the Cavs would have a good shot at him. If not the Cavs, maybe the Thunder. Uh, Thunder desperately need another wing. Um, and, and I think he would get playing time there. I don't really see Dion Waiters taking a lot of minutes from him. Uh, so it was a little bit surprising to see him go that route. Um, but I guess South Beach has its appeal. Pat Riley is known for being able to make a good sales pitch, so I think that was a major factor in why Joe Johnson went there. James, was it the right decision? Uh, depends on who you're asking for. For Miami, it's a slam dunk. Uh, you know, adding that size and versatility – and that shooting, and I guess uh, I haven't really watched him lately. I'm probably still defending the first. Um, that's you know, that's definitely a, a, a addition that they could. It's going to help them a lot. They're trying to make a playoff push, or as they try to make a playoff push this year. For for him, no, it's a whack decision. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, it's let's be real. Again, Eastern Conference is going to be the Cavs. Um, I mean, I guess he could find a way out of the Raptors, but M- Miami's not a serious threat. Um, this, even with Chris Bosh healthy, and knock on wood, let's hope Chris Bosh gets back 100%. Uh, even with Chris Bosh healthy, they just have that weird mismatch roster. Uh, and I'm not a, you know, even if are talking long term, I don't think they're going to keep uh, keep uh, white side, so I'm not sure where that fits. Uh, I, I saw OKC as the best landing spot for him. So, but yeah, for, for the Miami to slam dunk for, for him himself, that's, I guess he just say, I saw Joe wants to keep padding his bank account, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, well, Justin, Miami's got a lot of injuries, as you mentioned, Bosch, and now Bino Udri just had surgery. I think Tyler Johnson had surgery recently also. Where do you think they're going to end up in the East? Uh, kind of the same position that I, I figured they'd end up at the beginning of the season. I didn't really see it going like this, but uh, I think around the fourth or fifth seed, um, more likely fifth than fourth. Uh Injuries are going to always be an issue with them. They rest away and wait a bunch. Joe Johnson's obviously going to give them a lift in those situations. Um, but I think Miami is a team that's it's a veteran team. They're more focused on the playoffs. They know they're not getting the number one overall seed. They're not going to have home court throughout the playoffs. So their focus is going to be keeping healthy and trying to be as healthy as possible when they go into the playoffs. And for that reason, I don't really see a lot of those regular season wins uh, getting piled up. Uh, as we kind of close out the season. 